This is Rick, the RV Chaplain. Welcome to Alert Bay, British Columbia. Hi, if you've never been to Alert Bay before, I thought I'd show you just where we're located uh, on Google Maps. Now, we're at the north end of Vancouver Island, just off the coast. So to get to us, you would take a ferry uh, coming across from the, the Tawasan, Vancouver area to Nanaimo or uh, to Victoria. Or from the United States, you can come up to Victoria as well. You drive up Highway 19, uh, going past Campbell River and all the way up to Port McNeil. Now, once you're at Port McNeil, you'll see that there is actually a ferry that you board at Port McNeil, and it's about a 40-minute ferry ride, and you follow this route into Alert Bay. And then once you arrive into Alert Bay, uh, you'll find that the ferry docks right here. And uh, the, the island is kind of divided in half. The left-hand side is a First Nations Reserve, and on the right-hand side we have the village of Alert Bay. So today we want to go um, uh, coming off the ferry and taking a look at the First Nations side. There's some amazing cultural sites, things that you really don't want to miss, and is well, well worth the trip coming to Alert Bay. All right, so let's take a, take a look. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to head on to the... First Nations area and there's a couple of uh, things that you really need to see and so we'll stop and we'll take a couple of pictures and uh, show you about some of the things that you definitely want to see when you're here. All right, so let's begin. This is the ferry that you'll be arriving on. Uh, it departs from Port McNeil about every three hours and it's a lovely 40 minute ride. As the ferry docks, we're going to begin our drive around Alert Bay. On our left, there's a uh, boardwalk that runs along the shoreline, and uh, the marina is on the left-hand side. It's a lovely walk. Uh, benches to sit uh, along the way and uh, this is the way that uh, a lot of foot passengers that come off the ferry would uh, would take. They'd walk the boardwalk uh, past the old net sheds and uh, cannery, cannery facilities on the left. Uh, notice all the houses on the right, they're fairly uh, modern and uh, at one time there were uh, lots of uh, family big houses right along the water here too with uh, uh, First Nations paint and design. And we're coming up to uh, the Umista Center, which is uh, kind of a museum cultural center, interpretive center. And uh, you'll see on the end here uh, one of the, an example of some of the uh, native artwork that uh, many of the family big houses had at one time. Uh, in the Umista Center here, we have uh, a number of displays and artifacts that have been returned to Alert Bay from museums and private collections uh, around the world and uh, they're on display for the public to see. As we turn around here we have a, a view of the, uh, the dental clinic and elder center and uh, the hospital we'll take a look at in a few moments. This is the front part of the Unista Center. Alert Bay has a very small but quite modern uh, health center hospital on the left hand side and again on the right we have a medical clinic and dental office uh, quite well equipped for a small community.
As we come up the hill here, you're going to see a really tall, looks like a tall telephone pole right there. That's actually a totem pole, and it's the world's tallest totem pole, and it's actually in the Guinness Book of World Records. And I'm going to stop here for a minute and just show you a couple of pictures that I've taken of uh, the totem pole once we get a little bit closer. Now we're approaching the big house and uh, this is a, a community gathering uh, place for families to come together to have feasts, to have special uh, occasions uh, of celebration. They call them potlatches and uh, there's a lot of dancing, special music and uh, very, it's a cultural highlight uh, for the community uh, when events take place here. Uh, we've had the privilege of attending several and uh, perhaps in another video I'll show you a few uh, video clips of uh, some of the, the masks and the dancing and uh, what goes on in a potlatch. It's just absolutely fascinating and of course uh, the entire community is welcome to attend these events uh, when, they, when they happen. going to head up the hill and just around the corner and this is the elementary school we'll be seeing in a moment um, and it's a, it's a beautifully constructed building uh, First Nations artwork throughout the building uh, just a beautiful facility and across the street is the uh, rec center where the community gathers for different sporting events but uh, also a gathering place for uh, funerals and uh, other uh, community meetings at the hall probably holds about four to five hundred people I suppose so an ideal place for uh, large gatherings and meetings. head back down towards the water and uh, you'll notice throughout the community various homes have uh, different totem poles and carvings in their yards and uh, these are usually the homes of uh, chiefs or elders and some of our uh, artists uh, in Alert Bay. Uh, some amazing amazing artwork here. Well, we're back down to the waterfront, and again, you'll uh, notice the boardwalk on the right, and uh, we're, we'll make our way back towards the ferry slip, which again is about in the center part of the island, and that should end our trip for today.
So here we are back at the welcome gate, and it reminds me of a scripture verse that I'd like to share with you today. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at John 3.16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So we're reminded that the invitation that God gives to all of us, for whosoever will, the whosoevers include all of us, including you and me, and that's God's plan for us. We're all welcome. Just as this gate above me says, welcome to everyone, so does God's word tell us that each and every one of us is welcome. So I trust that uh, you feel welcome today, that you know that uh, God loves you and cares for you, and may God bless you so richly. If you're traveling today, be safe. If you're camping, be refreshed. <laughs>